stable diffusion animation create AI music video with one streamlined workflow. As ComfyUI are getting more indie developers doing custom node, we have method to handle wave sound for AI animations. We can follow the rhythm of the music and add atmosphere or light effect into our animation right now. All this process can be done in your local PC. Let's check it out. Hello everyone. So yes, this is another new stable diffusion animations workflow that will be running everything locally on your machine. Right now, I have added a really cool, extremely cool workflow that is using your MP3 files or WAVI audio files you have. For example, if you have created music or used an AI music generator to generate audio files, you can use that. It will follow the beat sounds, the rhythm, and create the waveform of your MP3 or WAVI files. It will then generate an amplitude graph of your music, if there are high pitches, low pitches, or even drum signals. It will go up and down using a line graph. I have used the waveform to mask nodes from the Comfy UI and create a circle that is based on the waveform signal and generate a circular mask like this. This will follow the beat of the audio. We have combined these features with the QR code Monster Control Net models. I will link all the model files in the description below so you guys can check them out. This workflow was actually created by the Impact Frames, the creator of the IF AI tools. Basically, these custom nodes will help you connect large language models. For example, we have a Llama 3 fine-tuned large language model that is fine-tuned for stable diffusion text prompts. Based on that, we have some new updates from the custom nodes. In the recent updates of the IFAI tools custom nodes, they have also integrated TextGen and you can use LM Studio. So previously in my installation tutorial videos, it was only available for Llama, but now they have many more choices for you to connect any large language models you have. There are also other pretext assistants for your text prompts. For instance, you can use the Comic KR, which will be useful for story diffusion comic creation workflows. But right now, we are using the Lyrics Crafter, which is another AI assistant template in the custom nodes recent update. Previously, we have used the Prompt MKR, which is the prompt maker for creating images. That is something new from their latest update of the Prompt IFAI tools custom nodes. Through this, I have used workflows from the Impact Framework creator, and through his videos, he mentioned that he used these connection tools to generate MP3 files for different scenes. Right here, I have also tried generating different scenes, and this is the original animated group from his workflow. I have added my updated version, incorporating the music waveform and control net QR code to control the atmosphere of the music videos. So right now, we can use just the music audio files, plug them in, and add a text prompt. It will load the waveform of the music files and affect the atmosphere of your music videos, how the lighting transitions, and the atmospheric effects. Currently, these entire music video generations are using Animate Diff only, which is good because previously, I have made other videos trying to generate using Animate Diff and stable video diffusion with my existing workflows, which was quite raw. But I found that this new workflow is more streamlined. We can use one workflow to create everything required for AI music videos. If you are a musician with your own MP3s, you can load them here as well. Additionally, we can write a storyline for the music video, briefly describing the themes. For example, my story is about a tech geek walking into a disco club and seeing a beautiful lady on the dance floor. He falls in love at first sight, gets a drink, takes off his glasses to act confident, walks over to the girl and tries to convince her with a general happy ending. Using this story and my electronic music generated in Zuno will match the overall theme. You can also load any stable diffusion checkpoint models here, but I suggest sticking with Stable Diffusion 1.5 for this workflow because the QR code Monster Control Net models do not support SDXL and the Animate Diff Motion model does not perform well with SDXL. So sticking with Stable Diffusion 1.5 is a good choice. And right here are all the connections of my storyline 
and the large language model processing it, combining with the music wave files I have, creating all these text prompt lines. As you can see, it separates each line per scene of the music video I generate. It then cuts off those numbers and puts all those lines in the text prompt area. This brings it into our text prompt output. So the text prompt output will be here. You don't have to learn all these repeats and loops, then trim and cut the white space and so on, because all these regular expressions will help the text prompt cut off those numbers in between the scene lines. As you can see right here, there are some numbers and brackets from the output of the large language models. These regular expressions from each of these nodes for the strings function cut off all those brackets and numbers and then provide the pure stable diffusion text prompt right here, passing this text prompt to our image generations in this group. So after this group generates images, for example, if I set eight shots in my loading groups here for my music videos, it will generate eight images. For each image, I have paired and passed it to my new creative group in this workflow that will be adding more motions with the QR code monster and atmosphere matching the music. Right in here, we have animate diff and then IP adapter tile batch loader. This will load all eight images, line them up for the control net and pass them to the case sampler at the final processing stage. We get the output from this. I have put these two video combined results side by side so you can check which one you prefer or want to edit or change. That's all up to you. The original one from this workflow is the animate diff groups, which is this one doing animated, no music amplifier. This is from the Impact Framework's original created groups. I'll leave this one in the workflow so we can do a side by side comparison or sometimes with no music. It performed better as I've tested many times in this workflow. What he does is very similar to the workflow groups that I have on top, but he doesn't use the music waveform, of course. He doesn't have the control net to make the atmosphere of the music videos, but so far, all the settings are very similar to the groups above that I created. And right here, this is the output of each frame. I put the same structure as his on top of here, also naming this the frame low res music vibe. So this will include the music waveform output of this mask and produce more motion movement. As you can see, each scene here has darker parts and lighter, stronger colors, moving from the circle inward and outward, giving a more dynamic feeling for fast beat music. If you're running electronic drum or beat heavy music, that is suitable. But if you're doing romantic soft music, I think the output from his original workflow is more suitable. So that's up to you guys to use whichever you want. I just keep both groups in the workflow for you to choose. Lastly, we have the upscaler. The upscale plus interpolator will upscale your image frames and then use VFI to fasten the interpolation of each image frame into the video output. So let's say if I have these videos already done, I can create one more output from here. In my case, I'll choose the frame finals, which is the output of the upscaler. I'll enable this part, then leave it on here because the input image frames in this upscale groups are connecting to the one I created with the animate with music waveform group, the outputs from my created group. It will output to the upscalers group in here. Then lastly, we can do upscales on this part as well. Basically, that's the whole workflow. You can just upload music audio files, do one click for a text prompt, and it will generate a whole music video for you. I suggest you guys fine tune the slot number in here if you want longer videos. Of course, you'll want to put higher numbers in here as well. You'll also have to check out the wave amplitude transitions in here. You have to do the waveform schedule, so the lower band range and the upper band range. Each music file is different, so you have to check it out and fine tune these numbers before you run your music videos. You can also customize the size of the circle in the mask area. For example, this animation is the waveform mask area output. And I've set it to 2156. If you want it smaller, you can do so. Or if you don't like the circle shape, you want to use a square, you can do that too. Choose the shape in the drop down menu and select whatever form you want for this waveform output animation. Then 
This workflow is basically very simple to operate. You can do one click or you can fine tune the story. You don't need to use exactly what I used in the manual text prompt here to create the stories. Just writing very natural language here is good enough and the large language models will handle it. It will also be using the apply whisper node in here to get the audio files and it will do text prompts using those audio files. It will combine them together with our input stories here and then the large language models from the comfy UI if AI tools will be working all the heavy lifting, creating all the content for the music videos. That is the overall completion process for creating music videos like that. And I think that is outperforming the noisy AI that I talked about previously. This is really average AI tools, I would say. In my previous videos, you can check out the review and it was kind of unsatisfactory from my standpoint. So yeah, that is the whole music video workflow that I worked on over the last two days. And I think these music waveform groups can be applied to other workflows as well. For example, if you're using the animated if video to video workflow, you can use that. If you're making dancing music videos using video to video, you can use that as well to add more atmosphere to the output animations. It will add more movement motions following the music rhythm, like these lighting effects in these scenes that are following the music rhythm as well. So check it out guys. I'll see you in the next videos. Have a nice day. See ya.